<laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Got mail. Yo, hello, welcome. Yo, hello, double, double, double hi. Fan mail Friday, guys. It's a great time. We have a lot of fan mail today, too. Uh, we're gonna, we gotta see. We got this, we got these, we got a big one. That's what she said. And then we got all these. We got a lot here. Um, and I don't know how much I'm not gonna be able to do all this on air. So what we will do is uh, we'll open some up. I opened this one. I haven't opened open it. I just... Is there anything in this? Yeah. Wait a second. Is there no fucking note? Ah, oh, you cocksucker. You didn't even send a note. That's just fucking mean. That's definitely an eBay seller or one of these. Is there... Who's this from? Jesse can't even speak land. You bitch. Look, there's no fucking note. Not that I'm his favorite or anything. Fuck. You just ain't me. You didn't even tell me. I don't, maybe do I have to return this? Fucking keep it. These are. Oh, I've never even seen that card. Holy hell. I should keep it, because he didn't send a note. That card and that one I see all the time. I've never seen that one before. Man, well, these are good cards. This guy's definitely a seller. Could have at least said hi. They just fucking put hi on it. I don't know. Shit. We'll sign these so he can make some fucking little money online. My expense, courtesy of the big guy, you're welcome. Man. How does this, he can't even plan this shit out. Everyone puts a note. Like, this is going to be one of the first ones that I've ever gotten without a note. My stomach's a little, um... I'm getting ready... I can't get the card out. It's stuck. It's damn plastic. Fuck. Come on. What, is this fucking glued in there? This guy, he knew what he was... Okay, this is going to be a 30-minute video of just trying to sign two cards. Um, I had some Mad Dog Plutonium. I mean, not Mad Dog Plutonium, I'm sorry. Um, Mad Dog 44, the 4 million Scoville heat unit. I put a good amount um, in these organic ramen noodles that only have one gram of fat in them. The vegan ones that I have. And uh, it might be one of the hottest things I've ever had. And uh, it took me probably a good 20 minutes after eating them to get my mouth to cool off. And what I do is I train myself. I haven't had any hot stuff all week. So I'm not doing a hot video today either because um, I wanted to see where I'm at. And that hit me so hard. Like, not like, it just, it burned my mouth bad. Like it was, it's probably the hottest thing I've ever had in my mouth. That's what she said. So there's one to Jesse who didn't even write a note saying hi. We got a big one here. We'll go right to the big one. Photo, do not bend. Ha <laughs> gotcha. I wouldn't do that. I need like somebody here with me. Just a little, like a little person. Like a midget. Just sitting right here next to me that opens this all up. I would treat him awesome. You can't say, you can say whatever you want. It's my channel, guys. I love little people. If I was a midget, I'd want people to call me a midget. I wouldn't want them to say, like, hey, big guy, and I'm fucking three feet tall. I'd be fucking offended. I'm a midget. Call me a fucking midget. It's like me. Call me big guy. I'm a big guy. I'm fucking big. It's trademarked. Oh, we got a letter from Joe. Uh, dear Mr. Ryback Reeves. <laughs> That's right, mister to you. 
Well, that's from the dad. Thank you, sir. Hope you're doing well through this pandemic. My son, Aaron, and I had the pleasure of meeting you at a convention a couple years ago in Philadelphia. I have enclosed an 8x10 you took with him and was wondering if you could sign this pic to Aaron with an inscription of your choice, please. Enclosed, you will find a Sharpie and a uh, S-A-S-E to send back it to him. Thank you for your time. Um, all right, so let me see. I hope I don't look like he always oh, sent a marker. I love getting markers at the collection. Okay. This is, I might have looked like absolute shit in this photo because I was hurt during this period really bad. I did. Ah, oh, what a, I don't, I could just tell looking at my face how, I mean, I'm, I mean, I look better than most people still, but I look like shit to me in that. I could just see it, like, I could just tell it in my face that was before all my stem cells started. Look at, I'm younger now than in that photo. That's three years ago, guys. I'm the walking, talking Benjamin Button of the fucking, of the world. You see, you hear me? I mean, look at my eyes. They're fucking bluer. They were all dead in that photo. Look at, look at that guy right there wearing the hungry shirt. What a fucking mark. <laughs> I don't know who that is, but he had my shirt on. Thanks, buddy. Um, this kid looks great, though. This kid's three years older now. He's probably bigger than me. He's already, look at that. Okay, so we're going to go to Aaron. We'll go up here. To A-A-R-O-N. And then we'll go ahead and sign. I don't know if this marker's the best for this. It's not the best marker, color-wise, which Joe wanted him known because... Um, I'm going to put feed me more because I like to put feed me more on that because that's my catchphrase and my entire brand is feed me more LLC. And we're going to put up here, stay hungry. And then, I feel like an idiot. Say self-addressed uh, stamped envelope. Self-addressed stamped envelope. I didn't know, sometimes I'm stupid. Say, S-A-S-E, what the fuck? Fuck. I have a, I've had a long day, guys. Shut the fuck up. I can't believe you didn't know that. Well, I, I don't know a lot of things because like, my mind is constantly racing. I forget more than I've learned. I've learned more than I forget. I don't. All right, we'll go ahead and put that there. Let's go ahead and go here. We got a. Uh, from Shoals? And guys, you guys can send your fan mail to P.O. Box. Dells, if we could put that up on the screen, please. Uh, P.O. Box 752740, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89136. Addressed either Ryback Reeves or Feed Me More LLC. And uh, guys, with a self-addressed address, stamp envelope. <laughs> Sace. <laughs> Yo, you don't know what that is? And, uh, oh, is this just a card? And guys, I'll get this back to you eventually. Oh, somebody, okay. I thought somebody, I'm off my game today. That Mad Dog 44 fucked me up, guys. I thought someone sent me a birthday card. And then, I don't know why I thought this was the envelope at first, but it's a birthday card for Zach to sign. Um, Dear Ryback, our name are Aiden and Gavin. Our friend Zach and us are huge wrestling fans. His 14th birthday is May 28th. Oh, shh. 
Okay, this will get to them in time. They'll send these out to mm, Okay, this will go out on the 25th, the 26th. This should get there in time. Uh, and since he can't have a usual birthday party, we wanted to surprise him with a birthday card from some of his favorite wrestlers. Can you please sign the enclosed birthday card for him? Thank you. Yes, I can. Thank you very much, guys. A little birth birthday card here to Zach. We'll go up here to Zach. We'll do our signature, classic Ryback signature with a Feed Me More. And we're also gonna go over here. Happy birthday. Zach, we don't, what are we going to put on this here? This is what we got so far. Let me see. Do I have, I usually keep some extras over here. We will send him a Ryback Flying High birthday card. Signed. They always keep extras around the house, guys. You never know when you're gonna need this stuff. We'll go ahead and throw that in there. Little Zach. Hopefully this gets there in time. Happy butter, happy Happy birthday, buddy. It's fan mail. Woo, I'm tired. Call it a day. No joke, though, guys. I, I don't think this is... We've done this since I've left WWE. And it, it goes through spurt. Like, it comes no matter what. But, like, there'll be days or weeks when I go to get it. And, it, like, there's a lot. And then there'll be some. There's, like, four or five. This was a week where there was a lot. Um, ooh, this looks like a, something fun. We'll do this one. Opening them and stuff is the hardest part. People, everyone is different. Everyone's... One of these days, somebody's going to put a fucking rattlesnake in this and kill me. Oh, another marker. Which color? They send two more markers, black and blue? Son of a bitch, they did. All right, we got uh, Brandon. Find smiles inside. <laughs> did I just laugh like Pee Wee Harmon? What the fuck? This is a real mystery here. At least they sent a letter. I'm like the first person just collecting money. Um... Hey, Mr. Ryback, I'm a huge fan of yours and was wondering if you could sign. I thought that said COVID. It looks, it spelled COVID and could at the same time. Who the fuck is texting me? Um, if you could sign a few pictures for me, hope you and your family are staying safe and thank you for your time. Thank you, buddy. What's your name? Brandon. Thank you, Brandon. I know some of you probably think like, why is he cuss on these? Like there's kids watching. And you know what? They're gonna fucking cuss when they're older anyways, guys. They may as well hear it from their fucking hero. Because there's nothing wrong with it. There's not. It's knowing when and where to do it. If you're at dinner with, like I've talked about, with, with, with a group of investors and you know that they don't cuss. Or they, they all are walking around with sticks up their ass. You know, you, you put it on, you put the game face on and you do the fake bullshit. And then every other time you could be real and just be who you want. I also work for myself and don't have to answer to anyone but me, which is the most powerful, greatest, ultimate feeling in the world. So. You put, again, we asked you guys to limit the photos to one to two. Our buddy here, Brandon, really, well, he only did three, not too bad, not too bad. All 
right. We'll get those back to Brandon. You never know what you're going to get on Fan Mail Friday, guys. We got some more time here. We'll probably cap this off right at around 20 minutes. I'm sure nobody wants to watch an hour-long video of me signing fan mail. Plus, to it, it's harder for me. I can usually go through it a little quicker when it's just me and not me and all my fans watching. Ooh, this is heavy, too. One of these days, someone's just going to send me money. Like, hey, big guy, we fucking love you. Here's a thousand bucks. Go blow it on a go blow it on a stripper. <laughs> okay. Oh, holy hell, this is a long letter. Please place and return envelope for protection. Wait, what? Okay, we got the cards. Oh, this is a stack of them. How many letters? Oh wow. Um, hello, Mr. Reeves, a.k.a. Ryback, a.k.a. The Big Guy. I'm a huge fan, and I sent to you before. The only thing I, I forgot to send is the photo of us together to get signed. Also, I noticed you really liked the one my buddy Corey Bastion Booger sent you. Haha, <laughs> great one, I must say. So I'm sending a basic me uh, metallic Sharpie. I was going to send you one of my favorite marker brand called Recollections, which you used to sign my chair, but I'm totally out. I will send some as soon as I can get more. I am working on a project and hoping to get more and more cards and photos because I have a huge wall that I'm going to tile of all wrestling card and photo autographs. I'm making a custom wood track to slide the top loaders into display. I currently have close to 1,000 autograph cards, and when it comes to autograph cards, all I can say is feed me more. I have a total respect for what you guys go through, and I've enjoyed watching wrestling since I was a kid with my father. I lost him about 12 years ago. I'm very sorry. On Good Friday. And my mother, 15 days later... Sorry, very sorry. Um, but it was always feels like they're around whenever I watch wrestling. That is incredible. Wrestling is a great family bonding experience. I am hoping you could sign one of my four by six picks for my niece, Sierra. Uh, autograph collection starting at, the, at an early age. But Nexus is for me. Ha ha ha. I love Nexus and still got the shirt. We are one. I just want to thank you for everything that you do for your fans and all the great memories. Uh, that I have just seeing you wrestle, just in case you ever need to get in touch. And he has this information here. Thank you, Dwayne. And, uh, oh, that's my signature on the bottom there. Classic Ryback signature. Thank you very much, Dwayne. Uh, what do we, hold on here. We got the classic, the metallic Sharpie, um, to Sierra. Sierra, we get that. Get those. Um, and then Nexus, okay. These are awesome cards here. Card of me and him, I was also very, very, very hurt in this. I actually don't like to look at photos. Um, the last several years before I really got the stem cells going or the early on stem cells, um, because I was an absolute wreck. Just physically an absolute wreck. And nobody, I, I was able to always do everything, but I was just in constant pain. And um, again, I've talked to, the, this whole story has just been not, um, my fans, you guys know that you've heard me talk about it, but overall, people are just completely clueless to all of this. Uh, and like, I've had 15 stem cell procedures. I just had the 15th on my shoulder. Like, what I'm trying to do has never been done. And it's not, it's not making me special or anything. I'm just a guinea pig with these stem cells for what they're doing. They've regrown five discs in my back. They're going to do it in my leg to try to regenerate my nerves from an ankle injury with a botched surgery when I was 28. And I had no cartilage left in my right shoulder and needed a shoulder replacement and had all this other stuff going wrong with atrophy. And like, we reversed all of it. And I don't, and it really, it's unfortunate. Like wrestling sites and all that too, they don't play, they don't, they've ignored the truth in all of it. And this isn't all of them, of course. Just some, and it's, they don't, 
I know how, how fucking incredible all this is. And it's going to be absolutely amazing. And like, I already know I'm coming back from it. So, but it's, uh, it's just crazy how things have all worked out with that. And I've been honest from the very beginning with everything. And now a lot of people realize that as well. And, um, as like I said, just stay consistent with it. And eventually the truth always wins out. So, but it's hard looking at those photos because it's just mentally everything that was going on in the supplements too. And like, that was so much work and doing everything and just the podcast. And there was just so much and there's so much, there's even more now, but it's like, it's, it was just, it was an uncertain period. Like I didn't know if I was going to be able to get better or not. My body was breaking down rapidly from being pumped full of drugs for, for years of not steroids, but pain medicine up there. And it's just a horrible thing. We'll make this the last letter here, guys. Jacqueline Esther, dear Mr. Reeves, thank you for taking the time to read my letter, but I don't want to take up a lot of your time. My boyfriend and I are huge fans of yours and have been for a long time. We enjoyed your time with WWE so much and wish it hadn't ended the way it did. We both follow your Instagram account so we can keep up with all that you are involved in. My boyfriend has collected wrestling cards since he was a kid and now has over 50 complete sets. And we've enjoyed getting a lot of them signed over the past few years. I hope you will consider signing the cards on the front that I have sent for his collection. I have included a self-addressed stamped envelope for a return. Says, And uh, thank you for considering this request. We wish you the absolute best. I can't fucking do this. We're passing on this one. Next. Who's this from? Jeffrey? Well, fuck Jeffrey. Okay, I'll do this. It's your lucky day. We got, I like, that's one of my favorite cards. That's a good photo of me. The, that one. And then this one, I always, I don't like these at all. When they, I hate the WWE, put them um, Anything affiliated with Skip Sheffield is Ryback. I don't. I have nothing against Skip Sheffield, but I think that should solely stay as Skip Sheffield. Ryback was an entirely different character, which is more me than anything. Skip Sheffield was in the complete fucking role. A little dipshit cowboy from College Station, Texas. A little bitch. Ryback was a fucking monster. Destroy. All right. Okay. We will get this for Jacqueline. And we're going to end that one here, guys. With that. I got to get, I got to knock out the rest of these here uh, for Fan Mail Friday, guys. Thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, again, you guys could send Dells if we could put that uh, that address up, P.O. Box 752740, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89136. Feed Me More LLC or Ryback Reeves. And uh, we will get you back your fan mail, guys, in, a, in a, a timely manner. And thank you guys very much for watching. Check out my podcast, Conversation with the Big Guy Ryback. And Feed Me More Nutrition, available on feedmemore.com and Amazon. Get hungry, stay hungry, feed me more. Yo, thank you guys for watching Ryback TV. If you could check out my Shooting Blanks Wrestling Report every Monday on all podcast platforms, Conversation with the Big Guy Ryback every Thursday morning on all podcast platforms, and Feed Me More Nutrition, my personal supplement line, available on feedmemore.com and Amazon. Save 10% with discount code YouTube10 and save stupid why couldn't you? Almost had it. I almost had the whole video done in one take. Ah. New customers, you can save 20% with discount code new customer on feedmemore.com. Get hungry, stay hungry, feed me more.